Fight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Atari's moon. Download the Archangel Uriel. And Flight Boss here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, we're going to talk about how to look at time. Now, there's a certain way. There's a specific way to look at time. And, and people get lost in certain ways of how to look at it. But, this is the specific way how to look at time. Now, for an example. Everything, everything is frequency, vibration, and energy. Right? So... If everything is frequency, vibration, and energy, if you're if you're within that field, you got your own frequency, vibration, and energy. So let's look at frequency. Everything that falls up under frequency. Your line of events, your timeline, your spirit, your conscious, your gas. You see what I'm saying? Um, now let's look at let's look at everything that falls up under vibration. Vibration. You got your time, your experience, your fluid, your motion. Your emotion, your soul, your movement, you know what I'm saying? Your your experience, your ability to experience the timeline, your your frequency going in something, your spirit going in, and that's when it becomes a soul, because it becomes fluid. That light gets to take shape and form over what's unseen and become its own shape. Now, out of that vibration, right, you got you got your fucking um solid, you got your matter. Right? So everything that falls up under matter, your physical, your physical form, your, uh, everything that mattered to you became matter, became solid, became into a density, became into a dimension, a devil, you know what I'm saying? A dense spot to become a source. You can actually see the light that's emitting from the soul now. You see what I'm saying? So you have your own representations of these. So when you want to look at time, this is how you control your time within the overall time. You see what I'm saying? Like I said, you have your own frequency, vibration, and energy within the whole field of frequency, vibration, and energy. So if time falls up under the vibration part of you, your soul, your experience, your movement, your emotion, your fluid, then we know time is vibrational. You see what I'm saying? Because it didn't tie to your idea, the thought of you, your line of events, your timeline, your frequency, your space within the space. It's when it went into a realm of reality and you got to experience your space as an individual. So it became a soul. Now it's vib now your own frequency is vibrating. You see what I'm saying? So under vibration, we got fluid and time and your soul, your line of you experiencing. So it's your time. That that's just like when you're born here, right? You're now you're starting your time. Your experience is your experience. You have some people older than you, some people younger than you, some people the same age as you. But that's their time different than your time, experiencing the overall time with y'all experiencing and y'all level of experiencing within the dimension, within the energy field, within the matter field of it. And your idea that you carry, your timeline is what carried you here in the first place. So that's the frequency, vibration, and energy. We had to get that out the way. Now, since we know time is a vibration, it's fluid, we know time is experienced. So time has to be experienced then. We know, and we know time is moving. So we know vibration and movement, we know vibration could be up and down, left and right. Now how we know in this dimension what direction is going, based upon our location and our space, based upon the plantation that we are on, this energy source that y'all call Earth that we on, the way we're catching the time flow, we're catching it in a way that is moving linear. Well, you think it's moving linear, but vibration is always just moving back and forth from wherever it's going. So it could be up and down or whatever. So the direction of it means nothing. We just know it's a vibration now. But we know the direction of it based upon our location. So where we're at in space, time appears to be moving like this to us. So since the vibrating is like this to us, right, this is how we have to look at it. Now, vibration. Anybody who's consciously aware of anything, you know that the point of vibrating is, ba is causing balance. So if you're, vib if, if you're balancing your vibration, your time, right, because this is your time, what happens? You want to get to a center place. So if you're looking at vibration moving like this and you need to balance it, right, 
if we're looking at time, then we have to, we have to equate this to this part of the vibration is the future, and this part of the vibration is the past. And if you're here to balance it, then being in the present is the best way to you uh, to balance your time. So anytime you're in the present, that's you balancing your time the way you're supposed to. Now, people get lost into the the energy portion of the time. The, the, the linear, the direction of the time. So, so people will get lost into the future or the past physicality of it. So people get lost into their, me into their memories about what physically happened to them based upon a person, place, or thing that they had experienced. People get lost into the future, physical future of the time when they think about the future things that they want and that they desire. And it's going to come in a way, shape, or form of a person, place, or thing or a location. Period. You see what I'm saying? So that's getting lost in the physical time, and and you're not and you're not utilizing your time in the present. So your present time always become frustrated because you get lost in what person, place, or thing done something to you in the physical portion of the time. Then you get lost in the what you want or desire in the future portion of the time. So your present time is not being utilized to actually help the past or the f future physical portion of the uh, time. Your present time is just is just utilized in the energy of frustration. So the, the matter that you bring it down in your, to, in your dimension is going to be full of that energy. See what I'm saying? It's going to be full of, that, full of that energy. So you need to understand that. So the best way of balancing your time with the... Look, your shit is always going to get filtered into the overall time so that's why you always can have a sense of the physicality of the future time and the present time it's there because that's how time is moving but it's vibrating back and forth and you get lost in the physical representation of it now the astral now like i said the more you stay in the present which is your present your gift the more you stay in the present the, the more you know how to utilize and shape and form the the past and the future uh physicality and the shapes and forms of the time that's the shape and form of the time. See, even time has a frequency, vibration, and energy. Everything has its own time, frequency, and, uh, frequency, vibration, and energy. You see what I'm saying? And you have your own within all these things. Now, with your time, now here's the thing. that We're talking about the yang realm. Now, let's go to the internal, the yin realm. Now, the yin realm, when you go internal, when you go into the astral realm, when you astral project, Astro projecting, like daydreaming, sleeping, or just imagining something. Like, so for an example, when astro projection is when you can uh, come up with a thought or an imagination. Now, the projection is going to be based upon what brain you're using. The brain is predicated on what dimension you're in and what elements that it used to make itself. So that's how you're going to be consciously receiving the perception based upon the dimension. So the dimension you're in is going to be is going to be how the projection look. But the, when you go into the astral realm, all the dimensions, the nine dimensions blur. You could be in any one of them. But it may look and appear as the physical representation of the dimension you're in. So if you're in the third dimension, all the dimensions may appear that way. But you're going to be able to do things in all, like you can do in all the dimensions there in the astral realm. You see what I'm saying? It's like a wire. A wire connecting you to, to both realms. And that, that centerpiece is what's receiving both information. You know what I'm saying? Your soul what sits in between. Like your vibration is what sits in between your matter and your frequency. Your body and your spirit. Your soul is experiencing these things. And your, phys your physicality is physically doing these things. And your, and your spirit, your astral, your frequency is, is the thought and the idea of it. The timeline of it. You see what I'm saying? It's your ideas that you're catching. So... When you go into the astral realm, and when you astral project, that's that's coming up with the imagination. Then you project it. You give it the color, person, the location, the way it look, as based upon the the dimension when you wake up in this dimension using the physical brain. It's gonna look like that one, right? But all possibilities gonna be all dimension possibilities. Now. When you travel through these things, that's astral traveling. When you actually start to experience these things. When you move in your dreams. When you do things in your dreams. When you do things in your imagination. When you do things when you're daydreaming. You know what I'm saying? That's astral traveling. You're traveling in that projection, which is astral projection. Go look at a projector. A projector will show you everything that you already do. A projector is made after your brain. You see what I'm saying? Now, when you in this realm, this is how you control your time. Because look, in this realm... 
Like I said, if you want to know how to look forward, look backwards, move right, left, up and down, this is how you do it in the yin realm. If you want to move forward, you feel like you're going forward. If you want to, you feel like you're doing something and progressing. If you want to look backwards or move backwards, you feel like you left something behind or you feel resent or something like that or regret. If you want to move to the right or look to the right, you feel righteous. If you want to move to the left or look to the left, you do something left field or opposing to something. If you want to look up or feel up, you feel optimistic or happy. If you want to, uh, you know what I'm saying? And these are places. That's why when you say, man, I, I want to go to that happy place. Or I want to go to that, or someone be like, man, I'm in a fucked up place right now. I'm in a sad place. I'm in a, a miserable place right now. You are in the astral realm. And how did you go there? The same way I just explained it. So don't tell me I'm, I'm bullshitting. You got a direction in the yang realm, and you got a directional pad in the yin realm. It's the same way. You just your perception, the perceptions is different. This is how you control your dreams. This is how you control the, the yin realm. Same way how you control the yang realm. You think to move forward, so you move forward. You look up, so you, you look up, you jump to move up, you look down, you move down. It's the same way in the yin realm. Just the way I explained it there. If you want to look down, you feel down. If you want to move down, then you you feel like you're doing some down dirty shit. So in your dream, that's how you that's how you move there. But it look like you doing the same thing here. You know what I'm saying? It's the same shit. But here's the difference. The time is different in there. Because time don't really exist there. So it's only going to be represented. So when you're in the astral realm, right? If you're vib if you go into a happy place, if you're vibrating high, right? Then in this realm, in the present, time is going to move a lot faster. If you're vibrating low in the astral realm, time is going to move a lot slower here. So for an example, you know when you go into the astral realm, when you daydream or go into your imagination or you sleep. So you're in both realms at the same time. You have to understand this. And the better you know how to complete them, the better you'll start to understand life. And not be confused amongst the right and left brain. How them work together. And not get lost or either one. So look. Now the gift here is to, in, the, in the physical representation of the time is to be more in the present. Right? The more the more you're in the present, you more you know how to utilize your time. Now, in the present, right, then once you go into the astral realm, like I said, like I just explained it, right, time works different. There's no time there. So when you go there, now once you vibrate high or go to a happy place there, in the in the in the in the yang realm, which is the external realm, time moves much faster. If you go into the astral realm, in your imagination or whatever like that, and go to a dark place or 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 vibrate or vibrate low, the time gonna move much slower here. And here and here's what that means. Say uh, say you at work or something like that, right? And you're already doing something you don't want to do, but so then you go into the astral realm, you go into your imagination. But if all your thoughts and your, and everything you experience in that world is dealing with, man, I can't wait till the fuck I leave. I got, I don't want to really want to be here. Oh, this motherfucker better not come up here and say nothing to me right now. Oh, they better leave me alone. Let me stay over here in my corner and let me. If you, this is a dark place. So in the present, and that's in the yin realm. If you go there in the yin realm. That's vibrating low. So in the Yang realm, time gonna be going slow as fuck. So it's almost like you're gonna you're gonna look at the time and time gonna look like it's going nowhere. You're gonna feel like you've been there an hour and you only been there 20 minutes. Right? Now, if you go into the, a happy place or a satisfying place or a prospering place, or go into your imagination and you go into those kind of spaces where you can vibrate high, right? Then in the present, time go fast as fuck, right? You it'll be you'll be in a land where where you'll be experiencing all these thoughts and shit. And you'll be like, damn. Oh shit. Uh, it's already time to go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be like that. So when you come to the present, time go fast. So see, I'm I'm telling you how to like how to correlate your time because you are a universe. You are a solar system. You are a galaxy. You are a black hole. You are all these things. You are a star. So I need you to understand when you dream, you go you. It's not like you sleeping and waking up. When you when you when you sleep, go to sleep and dream. No, you wake up your soul body, your spirit body, and you and you sleep and rest this body. And then when you sleep here, and then when you, uh, and then when you, uh, yeah, you rest this body. Then when you wake up here, you sleep your astral body. 
So if you're not getting if you're not getting enough rest in either rim, you're gonna find yourself dozing off, sliding off in each rim. For an example, if you're a person who never like to get no sleep with the physical form and, and you stay awake and doing a bunch of shit, you're gonna find yourself slowly but daydreaming, slowly nodding off to slowly going to sleep. And keep taking cat naps and keep going dozing off and going to sleep and shit, right? And vice versa. If you're a person who sleep all the goddamn time, you wake up in the astral realm. So if you woke there all the goddamn time, you're going to slowly but shortly stop having as many dreams and slowly but shortly not being able to sleep as much. Because you're going to need to exhaust the energy there into this realm and wake up. This is how you know you have to utilize both realms. You see what I'm saying? And... The yin realm is more powerful because you're doing things like how you do when you up there, like when you was an oversoul or a planet or a star, right? It's like your your ideas, all your and it's as above, so below, as within, so without. So if you want to look at it as within, you're 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 catching all the thoughts and of your blood cells and things of that nature. Like all the beings in you, all the thoughts that's inside of you, when you sleep, you get to pick one and go live that experience. Go live that experience like it's physical. Like the higher you get in the physical realm, that's how it is physically. You know that you're consciously doing that. But in the dream world, it's like you're, you're doing that less dense. But you still got this physical form because of the reality you in. So when you go there, it's like you're seeing all the millions of thoughts, a.k.a. all the millions of the different people and the different ideas within you. And... And you go in it and you go down and experience the one that you're resonating with based upon your experience throughout the day. Whatever one your frequency vibrate, the whatever one that you are vibrating with with your frequency, that's the that's the person you go in and experience their life for that little time being. So a lot of times you may wake up and it may feel like you was in somebody else's shoes outside as as without as within. It may feel like like I got I got to call one of my friends and shit cuz I had a dream and shit about um a tiger laying on the ground, right? And then I went to my uncle, and, I, and my uncle had his his head down, and I, I pat him on the on the shoulder or the back, and, and, and I, I I forgot the words, but the feelings and the emotions around it—that's the only thing that matters. Was was a what I think I wanted to ask him was you all right? So even if I didn't say was you all right, that's the energy I was looking. So the, the people, places, and the things, and the words don't matter. There's the energy vibration. So as without, I was experiencing somebody else's life. But as with as within, I was experiencing a piece of me, and what I what I probably is experiencing that I ain't know that I was experiencing. As above, the star, the space, and location where I'm at in the astral realm when I actually close my eyes, that's the that's the place I'm going through. That's the place I'm going through, and and that obstacle or experience may that in the location I'm flowing through may consist of certain asteroids and certain spirals that's going in this direction and, and I gotta find my place and how to move and maneuver through that. And that's as above. And as below, I I'm telling you this right now. And I'm telling I might gotta call somebody and ask, hey, is your uncle alright? You know what I'm saying? Or or check something out in the physical realm. So I just did the whole directional path for y'all. Y'all wanna go do the Mortal Kombat code for uh for the motherfucking Super Nintendo so the blood could be in, cause it's already in on the Sega Genesis, up, down, left, right, and that motherfucking shit. I just did that for y'all. I just did as above, so below, as within, so without. When you go in your dreams. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it is. That's how the whole world is. This is where the spiral come from. You know what I'm saying? Your ability to Use your left brain and take the shapes and shit out of the all the surroundings. You can make all kinds of shapes out of a circle. But the circle will always be a circle. So that lets you know what you're in. You're in something. And regardless of all the shapes and shit that you can shape and carve out of it, it's still entirely a shapeless, formless, odorless, non-flammable gas. That's what everything is. You see what I'm saying? Look at look at look at water. What is water? Shapeless, formless, odorless, non Well, in this realm of reality, based upon the representations of is with the with the elements, you can say it's flammable because it's a dense, it's a physical version of it. But the highest dense, the highest less physical version you could go is shapeless, formless, odorless, non flammable gas. But everything is shapeless, formless, not shapeless, odorless, uh, <laughs> with, with, uh, formless, shapeless, odorless, non flammable, whatever. Everything is that. You know what I'm saying? So that comes in many different forms. It's just the original one is just that that field. 
where all of it came from. And it, you can't say it's a, it's a gas. You could just say it was something that was shapeless, formless, odorless, non-flammable. And you can look in all religions, they point to that. Everything points to everything points to what the fuck I'm talking about. When we talk about us living in a snake, a snake, dragon, serpent-like being, all the stories you hear about dragons and reptilians and all that shit, they're talking about you. They're talking about you. You see what I'm saying? When they talking about the, they, but they're not talking about you as in you, which yeah, you is you, but they're talking about as you as this is. They're talking about the being you're in. When they say the hundred and forty-four thousand. Me and the 144,000 is coming out. Anyone who's saying that, and they say, I, me and the 144,000, which, which you're, this is what you're basically saying. The being you're in, and the 144,000 of its species, and this is what they're trying to do. And you're just a being, you just a, a smaller version, you're just a smaller shapeless formless odorless non-flammable gas who's traveling within the whole world, and you keep traveling within these kind of beings. So you, you, you may come from another one of these kind of beings, another one of these kind of beings, and given this, the being, the being we in is like a, a, a god amongst these motherfuckers. It's like a king amongst these motherfuckers, amongst the, the rest of the 144,000 of these species. But we're all snake-like beings. S Geminis, Aquariuses, Virgos, and Libras, it's the only people who are clinging more to the real men, real women type attributes. So if you see any like, pay very close attention to all the air signs and Virgos in your life. If, if you get a sense, if you get a sense from them that they don't care about emotions and feelings, if you get a sense for them like they're more logical or whatever like that, then they're they're just giving you a small portion of what real men and women doing from the being we're in perception and the world it's in. Real men and women don't deal with emotions and feelings and shit like that. And we cause them to do that. The being we in and 144,000 are reptilian asses. We make them do that. So anytime something is clean to tort, but we're trying to get out of that. And the being that we're in, we're trying to get more men and women like. We're trying to evolve to, them, to, to that level. So any being within this being, anytime you add too much emotions and feelings and things of that nature, it's never going to be received well. But that's where your real power is at. So this is where you separate. When you get into your emotions and feelings, you separate yourself from the true men, women mechanism attributes that you got based upon influence. You see what I'm saying? When you get into your emotions and feelings. But you realize it's your true power because in the being that you in, that's, the be that's where this being that we in came from. But the being we in trying to evolve. So the more and more you see people do less emotions and feelings and, and utilize things for the benefit of its own things, that's because that's the influence that the being we in is getting from real men and women in the world. The real men and women in the real world. We're catching a small perception. We're catching, we're catching thoughts and imaginations after it's being thought of and imaginated and, be, and being received. We're catching influence after it's being influenced. And the, the being we in is in a world. And the world that it's in is in a being in a bigger world. You see, it's, it's, a, it's a bigger, it's a, it's a bigger total, totality. But to know where you at, you can go to all my other.